that's a checkpoint. Which makes me wonder if this is just another way to go or if this is a secret area. I do not know. So far it doesn't look like it. This is also a checkpoint. Well shit, I don't know. I guess there's just multiple paths to take. Whether you want to take the high road or the low road is up to you. Can I just jump up here? That might be just a way around to come down here once you're coming from up there. So much to see, so much to do. I don't know which way to go! I want to go both ways! But I don't know if I go one way if I'll be able to come back to the other way. I'm gonna check out this way first. Just because there might be an elevator to come back down here. Curious if we could knock that down. What is this? Auto map station. Why, thank you. More grenades? Apparently we've got too many already. Hoping there would be something back here. Yeah, it's just a way around. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, well, maybe it is kind of a secret way. Because that is an upgrade for this. So we could get environmental resistance, area scanning. Can't do either of these. And definitely can't do this, but we haven't really used that anyway. Hmm. I don't know that I really care about any of those, honestly. I don't know. Can we just leave and not worry about it? Okay, cool. I'll think about it later. So we got something over here. Elite Guards. The Elite Guard is a company of security personnel charged with protecting the Lazarus Project research and maintaining order throughout the Argent facility. Their distinct red uniforms help distill a calming influence among UAC employees, and they are known to be level-headed, disciplined, and fair but firm. Their suits contain cybernetic augmentations, which gives the elite guards the uh, an advantage uh, should they need to quell any disturbances. The augmentations allow them to be faster, stronger, and more resilient to injury. What do we got in the tutorial here? Just some suit upgrade stuff. By finding some of uh, Olivia's elite guard, we'll earn the suit tokens. And we can visit the tab in the dossier to view our points and available upgrades. Each category has requirements that must be met to unlock the ability to invest in that category. Okay. Out of curiosity, can we see what we need for this stuff? Activate four weapons to unlock these upgrades and use a power-up to unlock these upgrades. Okay. So, I guess this was technically a secret because it's just kind of wrapping around. So, I could just jump off over here. Or, I could go around this other way. Hmm. Kind of wondering if I could make that jump and if that jump would be something secret over there or what. It's just like it's a uh, way down to the same area. There's some armor and some grenades over there. So we might miss those if I was to try and make the jump. But is it something I care about? I don't think so. Gotcha. What is over here? What the hell is that? 
Hello. Weapon mods. Field drones will supply us with weapon mods that can be activated by using the weapon mod button. Choose which mod you want and it will be attached to your weapon. Use weapon upgrade points to improve their capabilities. So, we can do a charge burst or we can do an explosive shot. Hold the weapon mod button to charge up an arcing explosive round or hold it to charge up three round burst with tighter spread. Hmm. I do not know which one I'm more interested in. Explosive shot or charge burst. Hmm. Okay. Explosive shot might be really good on like heavier enemies, but this might be good for dispersing enemies, but we technically have grenades. I think the charge burst is where I'm gonna be going. I think that's a better one overall. Can I not select it? Oh, I see, I have to dismiss that first. I figured I could select it immediately. Anyways, uh, oh, so we can have upgrades seen already, interesting. Speedy recovery, bigger boom, instant load, speedy recovery, rapid fire, and quick load. I'm gonna go with the charge burst. Purchase? I have money? What? I don't know. I think it's just because uh, we're taking it. <laughs> Poor drone. I'm sorry, buddy. I needed it. That goes really fast. All right, well, I think it was worth coming over here. Let's see. <laughs> nice. see some armor around here somewhere? There we go. Yeah, there's tons and tons of uh, rounds for the shotgun. I don't think we're ever going to run out of those. Man, something crash landed here. So that's our objective, I think. Which means that if we turn away from our objective, we might find some other stuff. I'm guessing that we were supposed to come up here one way or another. We were just supposed to uh, loop around down here. So by me jumping, I think I just took a shortcut by accident. Is there anything else going on up here? Yeah, it was basically a shortcut to avoid a little bit of battle. I don't care about battle. Damn. Where are you going? Ooh, nice shot there. I applaud you. Or I would, but I'm holding on to a shotgun so I can't. Little shit. That's not nice. What is this? Nothing, I guess? It looks like some kind of door.
That looks like certain doom, so let's not. Hoping to find something extra by coming back here, but not really finding much of anything. Oh, hello, you're extra. All right, we've got a welcome to Mars. New advocates, welcome to the UAC. This guidebook will serve as your personal guide to fitting in at the Argent facility on Mars. Your devotion to the UAC's mission is the foundation on which we achieve the establishment of the new paradigm to move humanity forward into the future. Tier 1 advocates may take some time to adjust to life on Mars, but with faith and dedication, you can look forward to a long and fruitful career as you work towards full induction. Your transition to Tier 2 status will be judged upon your actions here. Make a good impression, new advocate. This guide will update automatically as you access new areas of the, sp of the, the, of the facility. Uh, expect more helpful hints into the UAC way of life, and as we say here on Mars, power from the people. All right, what do we got in the database over here? Ah, uh, something about the field drone often referred to as droppers. These drones were developed by the UAC to autonomously receive and deliver orders, uh, ordered parts to engineers, off-duty employees, and soldiers. It's actually from Amazon. <laughs> All right, something more about the combat shotgun here. What exactly? Do we have more about the combat shotgun? Are we just talking about the upgrade? Ah, here we go. Uh, an Argent Charged Compressor Reloader allows the operator to automatically fire up to three rounds in rapid succession. With the enemy at close range, this action is devastating, taking down all but the most resilient of adversaries. The Compressor Reloader requires several seconds to recompress after use. We've got something with tutorials about the weapon modifications. Pressing that will let you do it. We can visit the Arsenal tab of our dossier to view our available mods and upgrade them. Cool beans. Got some more armor over here. Sure, why not? I guess that about does it here. Can't hop up there. I guess I'll have to hop up over here. Oh well. Excuse me, bot. I didn't mean to punch you in the face, but apparently I like punching things. I should really try out this grenade. Next time I see uh, a bunch of enemies in one location, I'll give it a shot. Two doesn't really count as a bunch. Getting better. Hey. Whoa, right up in my face there. Well, it's want some. You? All right, well, I'm guessing whenever there's a checkpoint, that probably means that there's no more monsters around. What are you? Secret. Okay. <laughs> All right, we have uh, gotten the imp model of the Doom guy, I guess. There are two UAC Marine Guy collectibles in every map. Each one that we find will unlock a model that can be viewed by visiting the collectibles menu. See if we can find them all. I highly doubt it. 
I'm honestly surprised I found even one. But this was an easy one, so, you know, that's probably why I found it. Can I just jump up here? No. Thank you. So there's some armor over there. Sounds like there's some screeching going on. A way to go, possibly. I want that armor, though. What's up, guys? Man. The accuracy is so bad. I thought this thing said that it's, uh, no just didn't have any accuracy depletion ever, but it does not seem that way at all. Gotta aim like that to actually get the accuracy. Anything else out there? Don't know, but that was uh, acceptable use of an explosive barrel. It was satisfying. Hi. Whoa. Don't know if that killed him or not. I don't think it did. Takes two of those shots to actually kill him. Wow, nice aim. Good job, Imp. I am impressed. I remember when you guys used to have a hard time hitting me. Now uh, I'm having a hard time dodging you. That is not going to work for me. We do not have the uh, range. I get him. Got him. All right, so there's a way down there where we can get some shells, but what's on the other side? That is my question. Some health? I think this might just be a way on. I have a feeling it's probably a bad idea to uh, investigate places just because you're probably going to summon more crap down on your head. But if we don't, then we miss stuff. It's a trade off. It really is. What is going on over here? Nothing? Okay. Looked like some kind of secret area. That looks like some kind of secret area, but I'm pretty sure that would be death if I tried. If I had a quick save or something. In fact, before we try anything, do we have a quick save? New, no, we have checkpoints. Okay, never mind. I was just curious. What was that? New. No. Fast! 